Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. John here. We're continuing our year-end wrap-up for 2022. Today's video is not so much a top list, but I wanted to share with you guys, as a shaving brush fan, enthusiast, brush hoe, whatever you want to call it, I wanted to share with you my pickups for 2022. We'll be taking a look at eight different brushes. Uh, I'm not sure how many brushes I have picked up in past years. I do, for me, I feel like I slowed down a little bit, but eight brushes in one year might seem totally ridiculous to some of you out there. Well, whatever the case may be, let's just jump right into it. So the first group of brushes I wanna talk about is something I've addressed in other videos recently, and that is my recent reconnection with boar brushes. And so our first three brushes fall into that category and bring them into view here. So these are three boar brushes that have entered my collection. It kind of happened, I think, over the fall. Uh, this Mondale 1908 is nice and compact. I believe it's 22 millimeters. This imitation tortoiseshell brush uh, stood out to me because there's no animal funk whatsoever uh, from the get-go. And that's usually one of the, I guess, biggest drawbacks for the boar brushes. I mean, this happens with Bad Badger too, where you just have to deal with a little bit of funk. It goes away after you either use it or deodorize it, you know, within a couple days. Uh, not usually a big deal, but this one had no funk whatsoever. Next, let's talk about this Omega here right now. This is the Pro uh, 048, I believe. And I, this is my second Omega brush. I really like the 049, which is the red plastic handle. This is just kind of a chrome plastic. It's nothing fancy. It's still fairly light. Uh, these Omega brushes are known for a, quite a high loft, but um, uh, just the amount of scrub and the performance, I really like the Omega brushes. I think this was just a tad bigger than the one I had already, so I kind of just want to give it a try. And at around $10 USD, uh, there really, really was no drawback in you know giving it a go. The last boar brush is one that I used to own uh, from Samog. I used to own quite a few Samog brushes. This 830, 830? Uh, hopefully that's the right model number. This one I have courtesy of a viewer, Gravesit. Uh, was able to send this to me. Um, he wasn't getting much use out of it. Of my, the Samogs I got rid of, this was probably one of my favorites. Uh, something about this shorter, you know, overall length height, maybe not length, uh, it makes it really good for, you know, face lathers regardless. And it was already pretty broken in too. Um, this one won't break the, break the bank either. It is a little more expensive. The Omegas I mentioned, I think this one usually retails between 20 and $25, brand new. So yeah, that, that uh, Samog 830 uh, along with these two other ones are my new bores for this year. Looking ahead to 2023, I do have my eyes on a Zenith bore brush. I used to have the big scrubby and that was too scrubby for, <laughs> for me. But thanks to HD Shaves, I found another model that I liked. So uh, that one is probably gonna be picked up uh, within the next month or two, sometime after Christmas. So my next three brushes, all come from the same artisan. This is one I discovered this year. And let's bring them into view. We're talking about Trotter handcrafts. And I absolutely love what Paul is doing, uh, his pores, the shapes. I got these early on. Uh, there is a little bit of story between, behind each of these. They're all a little bit different. This was my first one. You can see this is the pre-coin days, or I think maybe he was in between orders and um, he just asked if it was okay with no coin. Totally fine. I love purple brushes, guys. Um, that's, that's always been the case. And this one, there's like flecks of red. This one was a great pour, a great entry point to Trotter Handcrafts. Uh, it's hard to tell with the lighting. There are streaks of red in here too. I picked up just the handle initially because I wanted to put this 28 millimeter G5C knot from AP Shave Co., a fantastic synthetic knot if you guys are in the market for one. Uh, just the key here is, and I always repeat this just because uh, if you don't set it basically as high as possible, you're gonna get way too much scrub and you're gonna be in for a bad time. So if you like setting your own knots in and get the G5C, make sure to set it as high as possible. That way you get the most out of the knot, which is a great combination of scrub and softness. Again, for face lathers, it's fantastic. So moving on, the next one I picked up, 
I think I get my order right, but the next one is burnt butterscotch in a matte finish. Uh, I'd seen a bunch of these come out, come out um, glossy, matte. I think this is the first one that he did as a matte finish. Basically, it doesn't, it's not super shiny, but still pretty shiny. Uh, this one I got with uh, Trotter's T1 Badger Knot. It's a two band and just fantastic overall knot. Anyway, this one, vintage butterscotch. It's got the vintage vibes whenever I want a little kind of old school appeal if I'm setting up a, a photo. Uh, this one has always come in and done a great job as far as like being matchy matchy and going for a certain vibe. As far as performance goes, fantastic. It's a little bit of a shorter handle. I forget what this shape is exactly, but just to compare it, you can see it's, it's a little shorter. Totally not a problem though. And I really enjoy this one. And the third and final brush from Trotter Handcrafts uh, was, is very special. Uh, Paul made two of these in this colorway, and this is a homage to the Lather Hog logo. And this was in celebration of 3,000 followers on Instagram. I mean, what a way to commemorate that milestone. And this brush, besides, uh, I mean, what a way to commemorate that milestone. And the kind of bonus for this brush is, it reminds me of Spider-Man, my, probably my favorite superhero. Red, white, and blue is also very patriotic. There's actually a lot of other things this could remind people of. Um, I'm thinking like Optimus Prime a, a little bit, a little bit of Optimus Prime there as well. It's pretty patriotic too, so if you want to go like Captain America or something like that, you could. You could, but <laughs> either way, uh, this one also has, uh, I believe, the T1 um, two-band badger knot. And yeah, every time I reach for it, it just it just reminds me. It reminds me of uh, the the different relationships, both just with other hobbyists and artisans I made over the years. Uh, just brings a smile to my face. So. Great brush, great brush right here. Great set of brushes from Trotter Handcrafts. If you haven't checked out Trotter Handcrafts at all, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description as well as for as many of the brushes that I can uh, that we talk about today. All right, we're almost at the end. The seventh brush I'm talking about is from Lancaster Razorworks. This is the Black Pearl. As you can tell by the bottom half, a mother of pearl pour that just is beautiful. I can't even remember when I first started chatting with Andre from Lancaster Razorworks, but it's just such a fantastic uh, artisan. He's got a big heart. Also, as his roots go back to the Ukraine, um, he's had a lot of projects this year, just you know, raising, raising support, awareness, all that, all that good stuff uh, with you know, Shave Soap releases. And I think he's got a batch of black sheep towels coming out in the colors of the Ukrainian flag, the yellow, the blue. So uh, if you wanna help support him and just support the Ukraine, be sure to check out what he doing as it's an easy way for wet shavers to get involved. Um, this brush originally was inspired by one that Andre made for Chris Cullen. I guess it was a custom request, as a very special custom request. Um, it wasn't through a normal drop or anything like that. Such a beautiful piece of art, functional art. Uh, this one also has a G5C knot. This one's 26 millimeters. The other one I talked about before in my trotter was 28 millimeters. Both perform Excellent, excellently. Probably my second favorite uh, synthetic knot out there. But yeah, this Black Pearl, I mean, I just love the brushes I have in my collection that have uh, a story behind it. But let's move on to the final brush for today's video. So this last one comes from Walled Shaving. And this probably is my, my favorite pickup of the, it's hard to pick a favorite, but this is probably my favorite. Uh, just as far as uh, this is my absolute favorite synthetic knot, this A1 bulb is a hand tied synthetic knot. This is for sure a splurge. It is not necessary. Uh, if, you, if you're all about functionality, you don't need a spring for a, a hand tied synthetic knot, but man, like just compared to others, uh, it feels so good. It is like lathering uh, with a marshmallow or a cloud to your face. It is so soft. But, uh, you know, there is, uh, there's backbone to it, but not scritchiness. It's very unique. A lot of times I find that uh, new synthetic knots, uh, a lot of people are 
trying to compare them against how close they feel to a badger. And I think that's the wrong way to go about it. Uh, my take is that synthetic is synthetic and it should be, you know, judged on its uh, you know, fellow synthetic, synthetic knots. You, it'd be kind of silly to compare this to a boar hairbrush or a horse hairbrush. And similar, similarly, it might look like you know it's styled styled after a badger knot, but they're all really different as far as how you use them, their properties, you know, heat retention, all that stuff. I I, I think we should stop comparing how close a synth is to another natural hairbrush and just judge it on its own accord. And if you were to ask me my favorite, again, it's this A1 bulb. Uh, the shape of this handle is also really unique. It's not for everyone, as I always mention, but uh, once you get it in hand, I think you'll become a believer. And this is the Haunter or Gengar colorway. The shape is Nimbus too, before I forget. Overall, just, you know, we've got another purple brush here too. So that's, you know, added points, but one of my favorite pickups from this year. Although, you know, I do, I really love all the brushes that I shared with you guys today. All right, guys. Well, these are my brush pickups for 2022. Uh, which of these are your favorites? I know it might just be aesthetics, but we all have different you know, preferences for style. So I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you want to share what your brush pickups were, if you're a fellow brush hoe or shave brush aficionado, I want to hear from you. Make sure to leave a note in the comments below. Otherwise, that's gonna do it for this video. Guys, thank you so much for taking some time out of your busy day for tuning in today. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Take care.